a good night's sleep. That's what authorities in Tampa said they hoped residents could enjoy again after the Tuesday night arrest of a man accused by police of a string of mysterious killings in the city's Seminole Heights district over the past seven weeks. The shootings, which began in early October, left four people dead and shook frightened residents of the historic bungalow-filled neighborhood in central Tampa. On Tuesday afternoon, police picked up Howell Emanuel Donaldson III for questioning after an employee at a local McDonald's reported that Donaldson had brought a gun to the fast food restaurant, about two miles south of where the killings had taken place. Within hours, the 24-year-old Tampa resident was arrested. Donaldson was charged Wednesday with four counts of first-degree murder for the four fatal shootings and booked into the Hillsborough County Jail, where he is being held without bond. I assure you this is the man who did this, Tampa Police Chief Brian Dugan told reporters at a news conference Wednesday morning. Dugan said Donaldson apparently worked at the McDonald's and had given his co-worker a gun in a fast food bag. That employee contacted police shortly afterward, and the gun was found to be linked to all four shootings through shell casings, police said. I cannot thank them enough for standing up and doing the right thing. Saying, this doesn't seem right. Why does this person have a gun in a bag? Dugan said. Donaldson admitted to owning the gun but, to the frustration of investigators, did not admit to the shootings or indicate any motive for why he would have killed four apparent strangers, Dugan said. Donaldson seemed laid back and relaxed during his arrest and does not appear to have a criminal history, he added. He was cooperative but he did not tell us why he was doing this, Dugan said. We were really hoping to find out what was driving him to do this. We don't have those answers yet. The case had stymied authorities for weeks, as fear saturated the Seminole Heights neighborhood, with increasing talk of a serial killer on the loose. The first three people were killed in an 11-day period, all within a one-mile radius. Benjamin Mitchell, an aspiring musician and community college student, was shot while standing at a bus stop on October. 9. Monica Hoffa, a 32-year-old waitress, was shot two days later. On October.19, Anthony Naboa, a 20-year-old with what his family said was a mild form of autism, was walking home when he was killed nearby, police said. Then, a reprieve from the mysterious killings. It lasted 26 days, before police responded to a shooting call and found Ronald Felton, 60, dead in the street, blocks from where the other killings occurred. Another victim, seemingly at random. The fourth one. The victims did not appear to be connected to one another by age, race, or other demographics. The only common factor was that the crimes all took place within a few miles of one another in the Seminole Heights neighborhood. The shootings drew the attention of national media as Seminole Heights residents adjusted their daily routines. Foot traffic dried up, people stopped lounging on their porches.